Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. It's your girl, Maria Milagros here. And welcome to the month of June, another fantastic, wonderful, fabulous month that we get to live in and explore and have adventures in and grow and become better, stronger, more amazing, fantastical, whatever. Uh, so today we're going to talk about, or rather... The month of June, the theme of the month of June is about deciding, right? It's about making decisions. And how do we do that? How do we make the best decisions for ourselves? And I've talked about this in previous videos and going where the peace is. Because when you have a couple of decisions to make, one of those decisions brings you peace. Whether you talk yourself out of it or not, excuse me, is separate from the fact that it brings you peace. So when you feel the peace, you have to kind of head in that direction, just trusting that it's gonna work out for you because the peace is your guide and it's your reward. So while you're in it, you get to go, okay, this might not be perfect, whatever that means, and it might not be exactly what I thought it was gonna be, but I still feel peace while I'm here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going with this. Um, and then that's really nice because then you're not fighting your way through it because life is not supposed to be a fight, right? I used to be under the the, um, what's the word, belief that everything had to be a struggle and everything had to be a fight. And I surrendered that at the beginning of this year, which was just like, I'm done with fighting. I, and I, I was a fighter, like, fi like literally and figuratively. <laughs> We're not going to go there. Okay. That's my childhood and it's over and my teenage years and it's over. So we're not going to revisit that. Okay, anyways, back to where we were. This month's focus is all about deciding. And the two words, the two words for this month are just decide. That's it. Just decide. If you find yourself come up against something and you feel like, oh, I wish there were, this was different, just decide that it's going to be different. Just decide that it is and then start allowing yourself to move in that direction. It's a really amazing thing that happens when you make a really crystal clear, concrete decision. When you say, that's happening. Because you and I both know that there have been times in your life that you're like, I just have to do that. And then you get up and you get it done. Even when it has 5,000 little steps that go with it, you get it done. Because initially you made that really concrete decision to be about the business. And you said that, I don't know how exactly it's going to happen. I don't know exactly how it's going to lay out. I just know this is where I'm headed. I'm getting this done. I know for myself, when I make a firm, concrete decision, nobody can talk me out of it. <laughs> Some of my friends are like, I don't think that's the right plan. I'm like, I've decided. So I'm headed there. And then that's it. I just plow through and I decided and I just headed that direction. That wasn't always the case for me, but I did learn about the power of making a decision. Uh, this was probably back when I graduated from college around that time. There are still times, of course, because I'm a living, breathing human, where I go, oh, I'm not really sure what to do, blah, blah. And that's when I have to go back to, where is the peace? Is the peace in this space or is the peace in this space? Oh, it's over here. This is where I'm headed. Because we were given life to live it to the full, and the full means peaceful. It means... Not that everything's going to be, again, exactly the way we want it to be based on the expectations we create, which aren't real anyways, whole separate video, but we have to make decisions and then move in that direction that brings us peace. And then you'll find that resources, ideas, people, books, um, things will come up. And the reason why that happens is because you now have a focus. And once you become Focus on that decision, whether you are saying I'm focused or you just know that you are because you made the decision, you'll start opening yourself up to those things and you'll start seeing those things. If I asked you to look around the room that you're in and find me everything that was blue and then said, now close your eyes and tell me where all the green stuff was, the blue stuff would come to you like this, but the green stuff you'd really have to think about and like, oh wait, oh, was that blue? Was that green? You know, but because your focus was on the things that were blue. So then when I flipped it and asked you to find me something green, that's not where your focus was. It's the same thing. When we make a decision, we make a concrete decision, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to have healthy relationships. I'm going to work on my marriage. I'm going to be a better mom. I'm going to be more present in my life. Whatever it is, when we make a concrete decision to decide to do that thing, it's like me saying, find everything in the room that's blue. And you don't always have to have all the answers. You don't always have to have all the steps, but you'll start to figure it out as you go along because you made a decision. You've opened yourself up and you focus yourself. So that's what I have for you. What do you want? What do you want from your life? What do you want from yourself? What do you want from your relationships? What do you want? And then why 
Do you want it? Because if you want it to be happy, you can find happiness without the conditions and the stuff, right? That's a whole separate video. But you can then say, you know what? I thought I wanted this because I want, and the why was to be happy, but it turns out I just really want to be happy. Make that your decision. Go figure out how to be happy. You know, and sometimes that means getting help. Sometimes that means getting a therapist or getting a life coach. And sometimes it means going on a vacation and for real, unplugging and leaving your phone behind. And sometimes it means that when you're in spaces in your life, you're truly present when you're there. And sometimes it means just letting go of the drama and the negativity and the people who bring the drama and the negativity, right? So, and you'll figure it out as you go along because once you make that decision and you start to move where peace is, again, the peace is your guide and your reward, you'll get it. So what do you want? Just decide. June is the month of deciding. So we're making decisions. I decide. I do declare that this here month will be super sparkly everything. Oh, wait. Every month is. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> okay, so I gotta go. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, a fantastic, super sparkly weekend. And I hope that you focus this month on deciding. What do I want? Why do I want it? And then just allow yourself to be open and let those resources, those people, and those ideas come into your life. Love you so much. See you next week. Bye.